Okay, I don't think I did a good job last time. So I am going to repack the grease bearing. Ah. Both the outer bearing and the inner bearing. Okay, and um, I ordered this kit inner bearing and outer bearing from Old Fashioned Ink X I K E Bearing uh, Power Unlimited Transfer. So it is 1 3 8 to 1 16. Uh, inch axles and those are the parts number the seal dimension is 1.719 or 1.72 and the um, dust cover is uh, 2 inch or 1.98 inch and 2 inch cutter pin two pair two sets one pair so I didn't do a good job last time I'm gonna try to you know repack these two and then install I'm going to try to do a more thorough job this time. I'm going to do it like really in small amount. See, it started to ooze out from the side, but it didn't ooze out from the top yet. So I wanted to ooze out from the top. So I'm giving it uh, just a very small amount of grease, a little bit every time. Be patient with this job. You can see those two, the grease is oozing out from the top, so that's good. Now I'm going to turn this just a little bit so I can do, continue to do this work. Going to be very patient with this work this time. Because I want to make sure every single one of them get the grease that they should be getting. Unlike last time, I was rushing and uh, I was applying a lot of amounts and I wasn't sure every single one of these little holes got the grease through and ooze out from the top, you know, so I don't know if that was the reason why it uh, overheated. I think it was. I think that was the reason why it overheated. You can see those two finally is oozing grease. Now I got four of them oozing grease. So before I do anything else, just want to get the middle one. You know, so that's one, two, three, four, almost five. So I'm going to continue this. Be very patient about it. Every time I just apply a small amount of it until they ooze out from the top. And no rushing for this job because you don't get You don't get credit for doing this job fast 
and you do get penalized if you don't fill the hole like I'm doing here. You know, have the grease ooze out from the top for every single one of them. Because that's what happened to me last time when it overheated. So I'm making sure every single one of them is gonna get grease oozing from the top. I'm gonna take it slow. I'm gonna get the actual grease out of the middle. You know? So that's how my plan. That's what my plan is. It's so hot, uh, my, my, pers my sweat is dripping onto the, my palm, my hands. Okay, good. Let's see, they're oozing out from the top. Okay. Doing this slowly but surely every time there's a little bit of uh, grease I think that's what happened to me last time when I tried to pack the grease because I was rushing I didn't really make sure every single you know hole of the bearings got the grease and especially when I was trying to rush at the at the park I certainly wasn't you know taking my time to pack the grease And this time you can see I'm doing a more, much more thorough job to try to, in much longer time, to try to pack the grease. My sweat is drip, dripping onto my camera. I'm being very careful not to contaminate the holes that I haven't packed. So this way I can see it clearly where I didn't pack the grease versus where I um, have packed the grease. You can see I'm almost there. And that's just the outer bearing. So I still need to do the inner bearing. But regardless, you need to take your time to do this job. That's the lesson I learned. So don't make my mistake try to rush through this job because your bearing is going to overheat if you don't do a good decent job. See here, I'm making a full circle now. See, I'm almost finished, done with this outer bearing, you know. OK, 
Okay, you can see it moves out from the top. Now I can really cover this, cover the side, you know, in the top, in the inside with the bearing that it deserves. Did you see that? And before I really didn't really did do a good job. That's why I overheated. Now this one is pretty good. This one should be done. You know, so this is this is the um one of the this is the outer bearing. I'm just gonna lay that here. So now I'm gonna proceed to do the outer bearing, which is right here. Okay, this is the outer bearing. You can see I'm gonna do the same thing, just a little bit at a time. Don't rush. You don't get a medal for rushing through the job. You do get penalized if you don't pack your bearing with enough grease because your trailer bearing is going to be overheated. So, and that's what happened to me before. So I'm taking my time to try to pack enough grease into here. You need to make sure it um, oozes out from the top. So if it comes out from the side, it's not enough. You know? So I'm doing this very carefully and methodically. Um, you can see there, this is really bad. I should uh, change to um, a new glove because you see these two are filled, but over there I contaminated so I can't see. Um, again, I see the grease coming out well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do, just going to turn counterclockwise instead of clockwise. Yeah, I'm doing this very methodically and uh, very slowly. Just a little bit of grease at a time. You can see that's three with grease oozing out of there. So I'm going to continue my work slowly but surely. Don't touch the side yet. You don't want to contaminate the holes that you haven't uh, packed the grease. You know, so as you can see here, kind of rushing here a little bit, which is not good. I should really take my sweet time, make sure every single one of them are completely filled with grease. Otherwise, the bearing is going to be overheated, you know, so really take your sweet time to pack every single one of them. It's tedious work, but it has to be done. You know, so now I can see they all ooze out and I can turn.
So that is almost one half of the work. No, only a quarter. You know, so we're gonna get more grease. We're gonna continue packing them into the little holes of the bearing and really take your time you don't get a you don't get a metal or anything when you rush through this tedious grease packing job you do get penalized for your trailer to break down on the road and that will not be good and that happened to me because the trailer bearings overheated uh, and the easy bearing exploded and I was in the state park you know I guess uh, and uh, my uh, wheel hub got exposed to the salt water when I launched the trailer you know so you really want to take your time pack the grease into every single one of li these little holes these the, the bearing holes and don't rush the job you know so it's kind of tedious but it's and it's good for a thousand miles if you do it a good job it's good for a thousand miles it's also good for the season you don't have to do this again you know for a couple years I think it's worth the effort to take it slow get it done correctly my sweat is really dripping down to the camera and the good thing is it's not dripping down to the bearing okay. see that that's almost half because I started over here and working my way through Pack your grease solid into these tiny little holes in the bearing. It's going to do a lot of good for your traveling. Otherwise, your boating day is going to be rained. You know, so take it slow. Do a little bit each time. And don't contaminate your and lose track of which holes you have filled and which holes you haven't filled and that's what happened to me last time when I did this the, when I packed the grease the first time because it was it's a messy job and after a while I can't see which holes I packed and which holes I didn't pack you know, so you can see I started here, work my way around clockwise, and I'm almost making my full circle, so I know I'm good. So, even though they come out from the side, just ignore that because you really want the grease to come out from the top instead of the side. Okay, and I know it's messy, you can kind of uh, wipe it off after a while. See there? This is a better and solid job than what I did last time. This last time I lost track of these where I started and so I didn't know whether I really finished it so the grease uh, so the bearings were probably packed half of the holes instead of all of the holes every single one of them needs grease otherwise they are going to overheat because it's metal against the metal inside the spindle the trailer spindle you know it it caused a lot of frictions that's why 
the grease needs to be able to be in there to cool these metal components and um, to cause the friction to be less than otherwise. You can see I'm almost there. You see I'm almost there. Started here and I'm almost uh, uh, made uh, make uh, my uh, ways around this you know so it's important to do a solid packing job instead of washing through this and every time just pack a tiny bit of it squeeze it down against your palm and you can see the top of my palm are sweating big time inside of my gloves. Almost there. So just bear with me. We're almost there. You see I started there, almost made my rounds. It's important you don't lose track of where you started, so you will end up in the right place. Otherwise, some of the holes will, um, may be left out without grease. And that's what happened to me last time. And my bearings were completely ringed. You can see, started here, you know, I'm almost. I'm almost at where I started. Yeah, I think I'm at the where I started. You can see, you know, you can see every single one of these got the grease, and you can see. I pack it again they're just gonna ooze out from the top so that's when you know this is when you know you're all done you know you get to pack yourself on the on the back for a job well done you know so that's it that's how you pack pack a, you know pack a bearing pack the grease into the bearing so I'm going to install um, these two bearings and then I'm going to uh, work on the other side, okay?